Wellness Health and Brew, coming at you with a beer review. Today should be a unique beer. It comes courtesy of Paul at PA Brew News. It is the Local Species from Blue Mountain Barrel House out of Afton, Virginia. Now, I've had a, a beer from them before. It was the Dark Hollow, and that was a wonderful beer. This one is a little different. It's a hybrid beer. They call it a bourbon barrel-aged Belgo-American ale. So what, what does that mean exactly? It means they used Belgian yeast, American hops, they used deep well water from the foothills of Virginia, and then they aged it in Kentucky bourbon barrels. So <laughs> what all does that mean? I don't know. So we're going to get this cork popped open and give it a try. Nice little pop on that. All right, we'll get the pour here. Okay, well, interesting. This is kind of a, a hazy kind of a color. Very hazy, you know, and oddly almost opaque. I mean, there's light coming through, I guess. You can't see through it. It's not clear, I should say. Yeah, an off-white to yellowish head on there. Very thin. But, um, and the color is kind of a, an amber with some orange colors, maybe some light uh, copper hues to it. Um, anyway, let's get a nose on it. Wow, the, the oak absolutely dominates the aroma. You get a little bit of a funk. It almost reminds me a little bit of a Flanders red, more than like a Belgian style. Okay, and then you get some hops on there. You get some a little bit of citrus, maybe leaning towards like uh, like a tangerine almost, I would say, and and a bit of like uh, vanilla, maybe a hint of pear on that, a bit of like uh, wood and earthiness to it. Um, boy, it, it's just you know, and just a hint of like some Belgian spice, but not not a whole lot. It almost has maybe a slight funk, like a, I would say not funk, but a grassiness to it. Um, not typical of, of what I think of with a Belgian. So let's dive in. Well, I like the taste better than the nose, I'll tell you that. The nose is hard to pull out, but you get this nice sweetness right up front. And then it follows out with this oak. Very different. Absolutely different. When I think of Belgian, it's a really moderate to low carbonation, actually. Very fine, fine carbonation. And the oak is huge on this. It's not quite overpowering. It's, it's a bit on the mellow, but very strong. I don't know how else to say that. This was, uh, you know, it's supposed to be bourbon barrel aged, so, which is odd because the, what I'm getting off this is as if they had fresh oak that was right on some white fresh oak, you know, not charred or anything, so that you're getting some of these vanilla and tannins coming off of it. I'm picking up a little bit of the bourbon, but I would think this was bourbon on just raw oak. That's, that's really how it tastes. You get this huge, like, grassiness to it. It's like dried straw. Very much. <laughs> I don't know what else to say on this. You're, you're getting an effect from the yeast, but this is not like uh, a yeast that, that would be typical when you think of Belgium. It's almost more like it was like some kind of a Saison yeast. It looks like there's some lemongrass, a hint of pear on there. And those are hints. Those are on the lighter side of it. Wet wood. You know, I'm going to go with that kind of wet, earthy wood and the vanilla wood. I mean, but all kinds of wood. There's just tons of wood with a little bit of bourbon on there. <laughs> the carbonation is so moderate. It's very unique. I'm going to take a little time with this and I'll be back. Okay, I've got a bit of a description for you. I'm getting this taste as if I'm eating an apple, a fresh apple, 
and now I'm biting into the core of the apple, maybe chewing on some seeds. It's that kind of that unique taste that you get in the core of an apple. It's in there and with a light maltiness on it. And because you've chewed on that seed, you're getting a little bit of bitterness from the seed, from an apple seed. And I think that's the sweetness coming from the malts with the apple almost lends itself towards a pear type flavor, but it's really more of that apple core. And there's a light brightness to it because whatever American hops they put in brings in a little bit of lemon on there. I'm not getting the tangerine, slight tangerine I got in the nose so much. It's someplace between tangerine and lemon, so it's kind of a mix thereof. But then it's really smooth. It's, it's almost creamy and silky in texture, which is interesting. And it's a semi-dry at the very end. And the oak and the oak tannins are what kind of linger and dry out the palate. This is a 6.6% ABV beer, if I didn't say that earlier. And it's 24 IBUs. You know, you could call it a Belgian ale, but let's, let's be honest. You, you really can't quite categorize this. It, it, it just doesn't qualify for any of those styles. I'm quite enjoying this. It's different. And I mean, different with a capital D. It's, it's such a unique beer. It doesn't qualify for any category. Uh, there's no way you can call this a Belgian. Uh, you can't call it a strong ale, 6.6%. It's, you know, it's not a Saison. It's its own entity. And then that bourbon barrel character comes in, but again, it's more like it's a velvety vanilla bourbon barrel type taste. Um, with a light, nice bourbon. It's unique. So, how do we rate this? I don't think we can put any style to this whatsoever. The only thing I can do is do an overall. And what I want to say before I give this one a score is that this is probably going to be one of those highly debatable beers out there, particularly for folks in Virginia. I mean, because they have nothing to compare to. And unless they're open to variants, you know, and they're drinking, uh, this will be a very challenging beer. All right, it's time to commit on an overall rating. I'm giving this a 93. This is just a beautiful, mellow down beer with unique flavors and styles. It is just most fun indeed. Thanks, Paul. I what a treat. This is fun. Here it is again. It is the local species. If you like any of the descriptions that I just mentioned, I'd say try to get a bottle. Uh, it's, it is rather fun for sure. This is Kevin Clements-Hombry saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I'll see you in the next beer review.